All right, here we are. Technique tip on Flanagan. Technique tip of the week. Special special guest, Mark McQueen. Welcome back, man. If he does anything wrong, I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what, are we, what, are we work, what are we working on today, Flanagan? <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to do the Choi Bar heavily requested. Also yeah. on the DVD, so if you want the actual real version, yeah. on the DVD. Yeah. Right, cool, so we're here. Uh, we're just going to do like a grip fighting sequence where my partner put thumb post on my shoulder so I can't get to his legs and I can't get to the underhook. So I'm going to move away to make his grip looser. I'm going to slap his wrist down and underhook to get this, this like high up drag grip on his arm. So from here, a couple options, right? If they just start backing away, I'm going to have a look to control the wrist, okay? Or if he just lifts his posture up, lifts his hand up, I'm going to go to the leg, okay? Otherwise, if he tucks his elbow in tight to defend that, that drag, like, Tension, I'm going to shoot my hand all the way through and get my chin on his shoulder and hold his shoulder. Okay, from here, my left hand is going to wiggle under his head. If his head's too low like this, I'm going to push his head down and get my chest over the top of it like a sort of 100% up. Okay, otherwise, I bring my hand in front of his face, connect my grip, ideally a wrist to wrist grip, okay, and I can use my elbow to bring my knee in front of my face. Avoid doing this. Okay, you also need to make sure that your right knee here is out, okay, so he's not like cross facing you, your knee is pulled in tight to your chest. Right, get my knee in front of his face. He's going to be holding my shin here, so it's hard right for me to get my leg through, so I'm going to push his head down to the floor as I scoop to the outside. Now, if he holds onto my foot, I can just kind of Americana his arm by kicking. Okay, from here, I need to pull his arm away a little bit and look to control the wrist as soon as possible. You can draw a hand like between the hand and wrist, that's ideal. Like the then throw your left leg over. I want to keep my knee to the outside just in case he tries to jump over me on forward roll. Okay, but otherwise, to finish, I'm connecting two hands and I'm pushing the grip over my hip and then I'm slowly pinching my knee downwards to apply the pressure. Okay, if my partner decides to roll, okay, it's important that you keep this knee out to stop them from circling around this way. Now I can use my right leg. Okay, to look, to either cl club his head or go in front of his head this way so you isolate the shoulder. When you're finishing, you want to let go, keep tension on his arm like a rope, sit up on your elbow and push his elbow over your hip to get the tap. Alright, cool, last one. So here, he's framing on the thumb post, move away, snap drag, take an underhook, connect my hands, push his face away with my knee. Down. I throw my leg over whilst pulling his arm out, chop my foot to the inside, look to control his hand to stop it from turning this way. Okay, I need to keep his arm like slowly rotated. Now I'm going to pull, okay, and I'm going to start to pinch my knee down with two hands. If he decides to roll, I need to follow his roll and sit up. Okay, so I land in this position and the arm is like taut. Now I can use my left hand on the floor and just bend his arm over my hip. Better to control the shoulder than have your feet over here because he can basically turn to his right and lift his shoulder really hard for the floor. Oh yeah, you're kipping his hips and that's all. No, sorry, spinning his hips and that's all shit. Oh, <laughs> Beautiful.